Great, more flashlights that you want, might not need, and maybe a pen, although I really like this ultra fine Milwaukee. Guys, we've gone over a ton of flashlights and I keep coming back to Olight a lot of the times because of cost, performance, and quality. But here, I'm coming to Olight and gonna show you this because not only is it on sale now, but it's also one of the coolest lights that I've found, maybe not 100% useful for outdoors, but it is awesome as a talking piece and also as a collector's edition. This is the i5T EOS in brass. I have the copper version here. Let's come in, take a look at these, and just talk about it. So I picked out a grouping of Olight flashlights that are going to be on sale. So look in the description for that link or check out eBay. Sometimes that can be easier. This is the light I'm talking about. It's a i5T EOS in brass. Now this one is just out of the package, so it is nice and shiny. Now correct me if I'm wrong, and I know you guys will, brass is a combination of copper and zinc. So when we looked at the last i5 EOS in copper, these lights are not coated, so they're going to get a patina off your hands, whatever they're sitting by. So look at the difference between these two. I mean, Personally, I think it's amazing to have one of these lights and just to see how it becomes its own over time. And I'm super thrilled to see how this brass one is going to turn out because I think this copper one is absolutely awesome. Now these are a 300 lumen light and some of the other lights that are on sale is gonna be like this Baton Pro. This is a 2000 lumen light. It is an 18650 battery. Let's go for a little walk outside just to compare the difference between those two. Outside and at night, that is low, which you're probably not gonna pick up because of another light. There we go on high. This i5T EOS is super, super easy to use. You can see, just looking around different areas, it lights up quite a bit. Now I kind of have to remember, this is a small light. It's running on a AA battery, but it's easy to use. So if we just push the button slightly, we're on low. If we push it hard, we're on high. It's just a press thing. As soon as I let off the button, it is done. So if I push it low, snap, stays on on low. If I push it hard, snap, it's on on high. Pretty nice, I like how it works. Now, as a comparison, I have the Baton Pro here. This is just high, we'll double tap. There's turbo. So if we look around turbo, we have a much more significant light coming from this Baton. If we go through the modes here, low, high, medium, or low, medium, high, turbo and here is their firefly mode so big difference in lights there's no doubt we'll go back here to the smaller you know light and it's great for carrying it with you and it's great because you can just switch batteries you don't have to recharge and things like that but much less light but I still think it has its place so that walk outside was comparing the i5T EOS with a AA to the Baton Pro with an 18650. Significantly different in two different uses. Let's go into that a little bit more. So the i5T is perfect for indoors. That's on low, or if we just want to check something out in different areas, move around to read something, it works out quite well. You can see the difference when I move away. Now, if we were to go on high we get a little bit more glare and, and that glare just doesn't help us read a lot but it helps us get into different areas if we needed more light per se something like that but still low is perfect for indoors now if we switch that up and pull out our baton pro when i turn this guy on it's just a different light. This is on low. It still works. There's high. If we go back to another area, we get a little bit more glare. 
if we turn it down to low or medium it works but it's just not the same that's why i really like this stuff for indoors so obviously as an indoor light we have the i5t eos here in the multiple different colors i also have one in this bluish green camo i really like these differences in the small lights they're inexpensive they're easy and the batteries are very easy to swap in and out you don't have an issue in this sale they're combining it with this pen and this is pen is aluminum you have nice ink on the bottom that is also replaceable and a light that's here that's operated on the top very nice pen if you're using it in a low light situation or just if you're a collector of pens now i'm not a collector of pens i do love this pen and use it but my favorite pen is not blue it's black but i'm running out of these ultra fine milwaukee ink saws and that's what i use to write all my checks and and do things with it just it works perfectly for me so if you ever get a chance to find these in the store check them out uh, you might have to order them because I'm not finding a lot of them anymore. This combination on this sale that's going on is $69. So it's not a bad deal for a very high-end pen. Now they also have this baton on here and I think they have the combination of the S1R baton too. This small light is also very cool. But before we go into that, this baton, if you're wondering what it is, is very similar to the Olight Warrior uh, this is the, not the Warrior Pro, this is the Warrior Mini, but the difference that they have is basically the Warrior Mini has a tail switch where the baton does not. Both of them are going to have magnetic on the end, both of them are going to charge the same. There's a little difference in the face here, obviously the baton is a little larger, but difference between the two, if you're looking and wanted a tail switch, you just would look for the Warrior Mini, and I love this light. Again, another cool color. I really think that this uh, chrome blue is neat. Not something I'd have everywhere. I really like their winter color, which is a flat gray, but this one is pretty cool. This little guy is great. The Baton One or S1R2, man, these names sometimes get me, but this can go on a hat. This goes in my pocket when I'm walking at night. It is a small battery that some people do complain about. I think it's a 14, Oh, let's look on here. This guy is 16340. And not everybody is thrilled with that small of a battery, but the runtime on this thing is pretty good. I can go for an easy hour and a half walk and not see any big difference. Cool, small light for different situations. I like this also. It's got all the modes. You got turbo mode. It's a little bit hard for you to run most of the options with one hand. There's your um, Firefly mode. We turn that off and just turn this guy back on. There's the different modes. There's turbo. Pretty cool light. All these lights are cool. And the cool part that I, I guess I look at is they all come in different colors. They're all special editions and they're all very affordable if you look at this flash set. So yeah, I have a flashlight problem and that's one of the things that kicks me over to these flash sales. I really like to get in there, get something at an affordable price and something that's cool. And every time I buy something different, I find another little item that I like and I'll switch over and try a new light. Normally I would have never ever have purchased this small S1R baton because I don't really think I would need a small flashlight, but then realistically in the end it was bundled with something else I picked it up for a very good price and I probably use this light more than any others because it's dark out here in the winter time and going for a walk clip it onto my jacket rock and roll it's perfect other than if I'm wearing a headlamp and sometimes even if I'm wearing a headlamp this is still clicked on my pocket just because and I go I like that now these brass and copper models they're a little bit more heavy. They're a little bit more robust. I really like that down the line, I think these little guys are gonna be something that I'll look back at more and say, I can remember when this light looked like this and it just, it's cool. To me, it's super cool. It's neat to see how everything turns out over time. And when this flashlight is you know, 10 more years old 
and the batteries are still going to be available because it's double A. I can still pull it out, talk about what it used to be, or if I wanted to, heaven forbid, polish it back up to get it back to new, I could do that. Very cool. If you bought one of these lights and didn't want it to patina for some odd reason, all you'd have to do is spray it with uh, some clear coat and you can do that out of a rattle can. Be very simple. I like that. Indoor wise, that's my light that I go to. I even carry one in the car just in case I need to pull it out quick. It's super simple. Low is easy. You can go to high real easy. And I like that. I like simple, easy, quick, not too bright. Because if I have this in the car and I want to pull it out to see like, oh, where did I drop that? Turn it on. Very bright, sometimes too bright. So different flashlight, different uses. Lots of craziness here because I love my flashlights along with a lot of other tools. But this guy too, if you didn't want a tail switch in certain situations, which I like, it forces me to go to that front switch, a little less tactical, but I don't always turn on turbo. And that's my issue with these. Although they have a low setting, if you push it lightly, for me, I grab the back, push hard, and then this forces me to not push turbo right off the bat because I have to work to get turbo by double clicking that little switch quick. And while it's still easy, I can turn this on a low light situation and move around. It does work okay for indoors, maybe not for HVAC, uh, because if you get a lot of reflections with these larger LED lights in tin and other things like that can reflect it even like a shiny glossy paper with black lighting on it. You really have to dim these larger flashlights down so you don't get the glare back. Either way, love this stuff. I love the quality. I love the CNC. I love the price. I get it. They're made in China. That's fine with me at this point. I'm not going to pay four or $500 for one flashlight. I'd rather have 10 of them that I can screw around with. At this point, there's no other good competition that I see that has this quality close. Otherwise, I'd be bringing that to you. You guys know that. You read some of my posts, some of our stories, all that stuff, all goes together. So check this out. I'll leave the link in the description. Cool sales are coming around the corner. And the good news on some of these flash sales, just as a hint, they sometimes start at midnight, which sucks. So you stay up till midnight because they'll sell out of the good stuff quick. Like this light here is going to sell it fast. 8 p.m. Eastern tonight, this guy comes up. So if you get there quick enough, you can grab the light, grab whatever else you need and check out. The site sometimes gets slow, but I know they're working on that and you just work around it. If you didn't get it, oops, if you didn't get it tonight, go on eBay and check it out because there's going to be a lot of them floating around there. They'll be about the same price and you can just see what's out there. Some of them will be more expensive. It all depends on the demand for the light. Try to get it on the flash sales. Other than that, you can sometimes find them in other places. As always, guys, I thank you for your time watching us. Give us a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, have a great day.